We now return to Wes Anderson's Pan Up, Pan Down, French song, The End. All right, everyone, it's time to open up our bank statements. Let's gather around for prayer. Hey, God, it's the Griffins. Again, we're very sorry we cyberbullied that girl to death, but we still want a snowmobile. Today, though, please let there be money in our bank account. Amen. 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 Damn it, it didn't work. We're still poor. Peter, every month our savings get smaller and smaller. We really got to figure out a better way to budget for this family's future. Bitcoin. What? I don't know. But there's still time for Stewie. Let's sit down later and see if we can figure out a plan to get our finances in order. Eh, don't worry about it, Lois. I will always provide for the family, even if I have to shoot our dinner. <coughs> oh. Hey, don't fill up on that. We got breakfast coming. Hey, Peter, I think I figured out one way we can save money for Stewie's college. If we bundle our cable and internet together, we can save $14 a month. No, a metal detector. What? Yeah, it combines two of America's greatest resources, garbage and luck. That's stupid, Peter. Ah, you're just saying that because the battery it uses causes bladder cancer. Well, then I'm off. I shall be at the beach looking for valuables and occasionally using a doorless bathroom. Good day, madam. Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, Meg, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. Hey, Lois, check out what I found with my metal detector. Are those... are those purple hearts? Yeah, some idiot buried like a hundred of them in this big lawn under these bone cages. Peter, I think you desecrated a military graveyard. They must be here for the medals. Maybe. Or it could be because of my I'm gonna barf on the White House blog. Jackpot. Wow, an iPad. This thing finds everything. Engagement ring. Family locket. Sunglasses that are an upgrade over my current pair. There he is. There's the guy who's been stealing everyone's stuff. Don't yell at me. I'm very sunburned. Peter, did you rob a bunch of people on the beach with your metal detector? Well, that's only half the story. I also hooted at a lady who was breastfeeding. I want you to get rid of that metal detector. All you're doing is getting into trouble and digging up junk when we really need to be saving for Stewie's college. Tomorrow, we are going to the mall and returning that thing to the store. <sighs> okay, fine. But you should know, the day I bought this metal detector was the happiest day of my life. Well, I'm glad the store was willing to take that metal detector back. All right, let's go to the food court. I love eating Panda Express while squeezing our purchases between our knees because someone might grab them. God, the mall sucks, doesn't it, kids? If I had a credit card, I'd shop online. Oh, hey, Bonnie. What are you guys doing here? Oh, hey, Lois. We saw an ad looking for a toddler to appear in a peanut butter commercial, and we thought we'd bring Susie. Hey, Brian, maybe you should audition. You know, because of that one time you got in the trash and ate a whole jar of recalled peanut butter. It wasn't peanut butter. It was that pre-mixed peanut butter and jelly thing. Oh, Mom bought that? That's what the scab kid at school always has. Hey, hey, this is you. I'm Brian. I like garbage peanut butter. And I wear my I Voted sticker for a week and a half. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Whose kid is that? Oh, that's our son, Stewie. He's adorable and exactly what we're looking for. Congratulations. Your son is the new peanut butter kid. My God, I don't believe it. That's so cool. Hey, what's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. Daddy! Daddy! Thanks for coming to the viewing party for Stewie's commercial, everybody. We're sorry that it's Aaron, Darren, two broke girls, but we have no control over that. Thanks for coming to my big night, Brian. I see you got all dressed up in your exposed wiener. Quiet, everybody. Here it comes. Welcome home, honey. Yum, 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 yum. Scooter's peanut butter. So good, your baby will want to eat it in an airport terminal bathroom. He's a baby who did a baby thing. Let's all calm down a little. Bill, Bill, Bill. Weird magazine about our town that's just ads. Hmm, this one's for Stewie. Whoa, a check for $2,000? Let me see that. It's a royalty check from Stewie's commercial. Apparently he gets paid every time it airs. <laughs> Welcome, folks. Would you like flat or sparkling water to start? Garden hose will be fine. We prefer it to be hot and then metally. Actually, Peter, let's go for the sparkling water. I mean, we are celebrating our little commercial star and his big payday. Oh, I don't care about that, ma'am. 
You know, Stewie actually got a call for another commercial tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? This could be the beginning of a nice career for him. You sure about this, Lois? I mean, I mean, the world of child acting can be a pretty bad environment for a kid. Maybe we should just let Stewie's childhood be about being a child. Wasn't your kid an actor, you jagoff? Didn't your father hate your guts and die? Relax, Brian. Stewie's fine. I mean, look at him. He's happier than a sunny side up egg. Okay, Stewie, you booked the last commercial without even trying, so this one should be a piece of cake. Oh, I guess there are other people auditioning, too. Oh, is your child up for the cough syrup commercial, too? You'd have no way of knowing this, but the moms tend to dress up. My son is the Scooter's peanut butter kid. <laughs> That's cute. My son had a gun waved in his face in a Dexter episode. Hi, everybody. We're a little crunched for time, so we're going to have to audition people right here in the hallway. You, do something exceptional. Uh... Okay. Ow! Ow! Well, that was a disaster. It was humiliating is what it was. That woman just smiled when Stewie banged his balls on the floor. A damn disaster! Nom 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 Shut up! That's over! Dear me, they're really disappointed in me, Rupert. I haven't seen the fat man this upset since he went to the 9-11 museum. Lois made us do this, but I wanted to go to the Central Park merry-go-round. Okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Just one question, Stewie. Do you get pleasure out of humiliating your family? Yeah, is there some kind of sick joy in it? Why can't he just be Pierce Brosnan? Pierce Brosnan would have got this. In a heartbeat! That's why I made this. I call it eight-hour energy. It's one part five-hour energy, and the other three hours are espresso, Scott's Turf Builder, and a tiny, tiny, super small amount of cocaine. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. Whoa, Mama, there's a kick like a mule! Yes, there's the magic. Peter, you're giving your baby drugs to improve his acting career? Oh, he's fine with it. Stewie, if you're fine with it, bleed from the nose. I think that's pretty close. All right, Stewie, now remember what we practiced last night. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. And don't forget, if you screw this up, Mommy's gonna kill all of your toys. Okay. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I wanna say curse words! <laughs> yeah, bye, Juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Well, Mom, Dad, I think we've got our new orange juice boy. Yes! Oh, hey, Brian. What's going on? Where's the fridge? Oh, we got a new one. So we booked that orange juice commercial, so we thought we'd make a few upgrades around the house. Yeah, I even bought an awesome voice-activated 3D printer. Why the hell do you need a 3D printer? Print coyote. <laughs> I just don't think any of this is good for Stewie. It's great for Stewie. He's becoming a star. That's right. Man, this must be what it's like to be Anne Hathaway's parents. What are you doing? I don't know. Mom and Dad just uh, stuck a book on my head and, and left. Stewie, look at you. You're a wreck. And for what? So Peter and Lois can spend the money you earned on crap they don't even need? Uh, I'm not supposed to use my voice for non-paying stuff, Brian. This is insane. You've got to stop. Uh, stop worrying. I'm fine. So, what business are you in? Oh, I'm just here to look at other people's emails who haven't logged out. Then how's business? Well, I've left some pretty wild replies on a bunch of evites. Look at this. I'm bringing 53 guests. You're the coolest guy I've ever met one of these things. Stewie, this has gotten out of control. If you're going to continue on this path, you need to know what your future holds. Being a child actor almost never ends well. You remember that kid from A Christmas Story who got his tongue stuck to that pole? Yeah, whatever happened to him? I'll tell you what happened to him. He did porn. Boner from Growing Pains, dead. Oh, no, this is horrible. You see, Stewie, there are tons of actors like this. They all started out just like you, but eventually they were destroyed by their parents' greed, drugs, or perverted Hollywood directors. Oh, like Brian Singer. Exactly, the point... Good. Now we just gotta make Peter and Lois understand. Yes, well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Haiti. Peter, did you get my text? No, hold on. No, I don't know what he's doing here. Okay, Stewie, when Barbara hands you that orange juice, you're gonna drink it and smile, and really show us that energy from your audience. Drink this. I threw a little molly in there, too, so we'll go out clubbing after. Hey, you want this? 
Sure, I'll drink anything. And there's no better way than with a glass of fresh squeezed Sunny Dale orange juice. Isn't that right, sweetie? Shut your hoe, bitch. I'll tell you what I want fresh squeezed. These. Ah! Oh, here's what I think of this orange juice. I can't, I can't, I can't go right now with everybody watching. But, but I presume you understand the disrespect I intended. Oh, my God, he's having a meltdown. You don't suppose this has anything to do with the sleep deprivation and narcotics? Well done. Not a bad performance. Thank you, Brian. I... Oh, there's the poop. Right now. Oh, Stewie. Mommy and Daddy are so sorry. I guess we just got too caught up in your success and forgot that you're just a baby. Well, we went a little crazy there, didn't we, Peter? But I'm glad we have our normal, very average, non-famous baby back. You know, Brian, that acting stuff was a bit much for me, but I did quite enjoy the dancing and the cocaine. Yeah? Yep. So you're just gonna be a dancer and a drug addict? For a while. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. No gain without sacrifice. The T, of course, stands for the sufferings of the cross. The R... You want some cocaine? Oh my God, please, yes! That's all I want, all the time!